This video is designed to give you an overview of the Versa evacuation chair and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is quite often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is accepted that there may be other more appropriate alternatives on some occasions and within slightly different environments to those portrayed. The Versa evacuation chair has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 180 kilograms, although the maximum load to be transferred downstairs should be advised by your manual handling advisors. The Versa evacuation chair is designed to be operated by one handler. As a general rule, the maximum weight being moved should not be more than that of the handler. Within healthcare settings, each user will have his or her own handling plan, and this should be considered before transferring any user using this equipment. The Versa evacuation chair is generally pre-installed at a location ready to be used, such as at the top of the stairs or landing area. Remove the product cover, put to one side. Release the black securing strap and fold out the chair seat before placing the red track locking system into the locked position. Finally, pull the black pull strap located on the back of the chair with one hand while lifting the telescopic handle with the other. Transfers from wheelchair to evacuation chair should be done as close to the escape route as possible, as long as time and space allows. Place the user in the wheelchair side by side with the Versa evacuation chair Ensure the brakes are applied to both before transferring the user to the Versa evacuation chair. All transfers should be made in accordance with your organisation's moving and handling procedures. Communicate the procedure with the user before moving down the stairs. Ensure the user's feet are placed on the footrest, then fasten the seatbelt around the user with their arms inside. Adjust the height of the headband to ensure the user's head is fully supported during the stair descent. Remove the brakes and proceed to the top of the stairs and stop approximately 10 centimetres from the top step. The Versa evacuation chair's top step safety feature will prevent the chair from going too far over the top stair. Gently tilt the chair backwards on its back wheels and push the chair over the top step until the unique stair blade track system connects with the stairs. Firmly push down on the telescopic handle to navigate down the stairs on the half landing. Once the back wheels touch the landing, tilt the chair forwards until it is travelling on all four wheels and proceed forwards. Steer a wide course on the half landing and repeat the process until you reach the ground floor or safe area. The track offers superb grip and control on the stairs. Once at a safe area, transfer the user from the Versa chair to a regular wheelchair or chair to enable the Versa chair to be used for additional passengers. Apply the brakes to the Versa evacuation chair. Release the stair blade lock and fold up the seat to allow the product to be carried up the stairs for further evacuation. The Versa evacuation chair can be wiped over with a mild alcohol solution. Ensure that it is dried thoroughly before storing back into its case. The product includes wall-mounted bracket and cover.